So I may have entered the Bugo into an off-road competition. Uh, yeah. So you're probably aware this isn't the only channel that does subscriber showcase style videos. There are others that do it, especially other automation channels because it's pretty much perfect for it, including Fail Race, Consider, and also Twin Turbros and Canadian Steel. Uh, both of them smaller automation YouTubers collaborated to do an off-road contest and I decided to enter just for fun just to see what would happen but instead of playing by the rules I decided to enter the Bugo. Uh, so you can see their list of requirements here. This is the original uh, rules video that I'm looking at now and needless to say I didn't really follow most of the rules. I tried my best but a lot of them just don't work for the Bugo. It's too old, too small. That kind of thing. That being said, I was quite surprised uh, to note that they actually did go over it. Um, there was an email submission, you can see the email here, uh, but in this video here by Twin Turbros, the first of his uh, car reviewing videos, at 3.31 he talks about the Bugo, so let's watch that now. Here is the Sastava Bugo Off-Road. Yes, this is the legendary uh, Bugo Off-Road vehicle. This is from Automotive Flux. So he's talking about the legendary Bugo Off-Road. Basically, all I did was I took the Bugo, and then I did a few of the smaller requirements that I could actually do, like the safety requirement and such. And so it's just a Bugo, but heavier and slightly more expensive. So it's way worse in every way. All right, keep going here. Um, first impressions, you know, it's a Bugo. What more can I say? It is the most generic or run-of-the-mill uh, communist vehicle that ever lived. Uh, a whopping 59 seconds... 59 seconds, 0 to 100. You can see what I mean by the slowest uh, possible. It's even slower than the normal Bugo. 0 to 60 with 27 horsepower. Would this thing even make it up a hill? I, I don't think so. Maybe if you just increase the ride height just a bit more to that, you know, that'd be a bit more off. So I genuinely thought about increasing the ride height all the way up like he's done in here in the video, but I figured it'd be more funny and just more fun to enter just the normal Bugo as is. Uh, and I also did not expect to have this go anywhere. I really just thought that it would end here just as a joke. Thank you for the submission and uh, you know, I hopefully I think we actually might even try this one out in BMG Drive to see if this thing can actually make it up a hill. Um, so good job. Spoiler alert, they actually did try it and that's what we're gonna see next. So what they did was uh, Twin Turbos was controlling the submissions and then Canadian Steel actually went and tried them out in Beam. So onto his channel. Right, so here's the video in question. It just came out today, actually the day that I'm recording this, so I think an hour ago or something like that, but I was like very excited to watch this just to see if the Bugo made it. And then one minute and 26 seconds into the video, we get this. And the bonus, of course, because obviously if he sent it, we're going to put it in the videos, the Sastava Bugo Off-Road by Automotive Flux. Oh yeah. Here we go. All right, later in the video, it actually gets tried. Yeah, it's it's a bonus vehicle, thankfully, so thank you for not taking anybody else's vehicle out of the contest to review mine. That wouldn't be fair. So at the end of the video, it's the time for the Bugo to go. Let's see what he has to say about it. Now, I have incredibly high expectations for this little car. It better live up to them, or I'm gonna break everything it loves. That felt like a pretty unnecessary threat, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> no pressure, though. Just be good. Oh, just blazing speed off the line. No low range, no locking differentials. Who needs that when you just got lightweight and, and lightweight on your hands? <laughs> So it doesn't make it up the first hill in the road. It, it just can't make it up there. Uh, needless to say, I'm not exactly surprised, but I find that to be hilarious. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, let's watch the second attempt. I can get out of this. This is the greatest off-road vehicle of all time. What are you talking about? I like that uh, he is finally now considering that this is indeed the greatest off-road vehicle of all time. I don't care if it's sarcastic. I have now claimed that title. Thank you very much. Put in a good effort for your motherland. Make it up the hill. And the second time, it uh, doesn't make it up the hill again. <laughs> and you can see here, he's clearly been driven mad. The Bugo has many strange effects on people. And he decides to just go and drive off the other side of the uh, course. 
It's not really on the actual course, but there is a gem here. This Sestava Bugo is the best off-road vehicle ever devised. And there you have it, everybody. The Sestava Bugo is the greatest off-road vehicle ever devised. So I don't normally give shoutouts or anything like that, but I'm going to be linking all three of the videos I've mentioned in the description, so if you want to see this in action, go and check it out. I've left a comment on, I think, all three of them, so you'll be able to see some timestamps, the ones that I've mentioned here as well, on uh, where the Bugo actually is, so you can watch it. And if you're interested in those channels, check out more of their videos. They both do automation beam videos and other things as well. Yeah, everybody has their own style in terms of beam and automation. Some people do cars differently than others, so if you like their way of designing things or if you like the videos that they make, stick around. <laughs> anyway, it's good to support smaller creators. Maybe one day they won't be smaller than me. Uh, but it's also fun to enter these little contests. You never know, I might enter yours if it's on my radar. Anyway. See you again tomorrow for a My Summer Car video.